Hi, this video is about a freelance project in Blender, and you have a lot of things to learn from this video, so keep watching. The original plan was in DWG format, and I have used LibreCAD to remove text notations and convert to DXF file, so that I can use it directly in Blender by with the help of an add-on called AutoCAD DXF. This add-on is already there in Blender, but you have to enable it in Preference. Also turn on the vertex snap mode so that we can quickly draw walls. Now go to file, import, AutoCAD DXF and locate the plan and click on import. After that create a plane and change the size to 3 meter, rotate along x axis 90 degree and grab it to right side corner. Now here we have an important step, so turn on the face orientation so that we can see the inner and outer side of the wall. Switch it to edit mode. Select one side vertices and move it to meet the other end of the wall. After that extrude the selected edges along outer side of the wall. And here select both end vertices and press F to fill the wall. Now let's start making the inner walls by duplicating vertices and snap it to one corner and make it as a separate object by pressing P. Now hide the outer wall, select vertices and extrude along wall boundary. Here always make sure blue face is the outer face of the wall because when we add solidify modifier it will create thickness along the red side. Once it is finished, add solidify modifier and change the thickness to 0.1 meter. Also turn on the thickness and high quality because we want same thickness throughout the wall. After that unhide the outer wall and do the same process. But here outer wall thickness is 0.2 meter. Now again turn off the face orientation and here looks like I have forgot a wall. So let's fix it by duplicating vertices from the inner wall and extrude. Select the outer wall, switch it to edit mode and select all vertices located at the lower side. Press F to create face and make it as a separate object by pressing P. Now let's create the doors and windows. For this we can use the argument shadow. Make sure you have enabled it in the preference. For placing the doors and windows in right place, we need vertices at the center of each object location. By the way, this plan is made using curves, so switch to edit mode, select each endpoints and subdivide it. After that go to end panel create tab and click on the door element. It will create a door at the 3D cursor. Move it to one of the door position. Now press shift G and select children to select all the elements and also select the empty and now press shift d for duplicating and place door on each door positions don't worry about the orientation now we can change it later in argument settings and this is the main door so let's change the frame size to 1.2 meter open both sides and change the model as well place a window right here. Here we have a balcony. I think we have to place a window and a door right here. So let's add a panel window. Okay. Uh, the panel window is too big and there is no space for a window right here. So let's handle it later. Here we have control holes for all doors and windows but there is no opening. 
so we have to add boolean modifier to each of them let's do it one by one main door first if i have used argument shutdown for making walls then there is an option called the auto, auto boolean uh, but unfortunately the archimesh wall creation method is not suitable for 3d floor plans i think it is more suitable for interior designs okay here let's try two panel window so we will get enough space for a door right here let's move this window to right side and duplicate this door okay i think it is better to place the window right next to the door here thickness of the control hall is not enough so let's scale it along x axis and don't forget to apply boolean modifier and now for balcony i have to lower this part so let's add loop cuts and make this part as a separate object so that i can reduce the wall height by moving these edges along z axis now let's move to the interiors first let's measure this area using measure tool and before adding objects let's place the 3d cursor in right place so that we can avoid lot of movements Here we can use cabinets from the Archimesh add-on. Click on the cabinet, and that will place cabinet on the 3D cursor. Here on the left side, we have cabinet properties. Increase the number of cabinets, change the length, and try different models according to your desire. Now move the cabinets to the right place. Once the property window is closed, we have to manually adjust everything. Add more cabinets to the scene so that it will look more appealing in the final renders. Now let's talk about the assets. This is our main file, and here we have the assets, which for using projects like a 3D floor plan and other interior designs. You can download all the assets from a link given in the description down below. Let's add the assets to the scene. Go to File, Link, and click on the plan file. Choose the collection so that we can rotate and scale the asset in the main file. It is a very useful method. because we can reuse the same asset for other projects and it saves lot of time and effort for managing projects
Here we have successfully completed the modeling part and based on the response from this video I will make the texturing lighting part. Also here I have a video series about 3D program workflow and I hope you will enjoy this.